Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Takeaway Tip Tuesday. And I'm your host, Ramona Remesat, intuitive guidance coach, angel therapy practitioner, speaker, and co-author of two Amazon bestsellers. And here we are, it is Tuesday, August 21st, and we're just zooming through summer, which is very scary because I don't even wanna think about colder temperatures coming. As you can see with this theme I've got going on today, I'm really holding on to summer. So <laughs> that's what that's all about. So welcome guys. And uh, today's episode has been inspired by um, kind of a personal journey that I've been on as well as speaking to a lot of other women that I um, meet when I go to a lot of networking events or just colleagues and friends. And you know how you're standing in line at the grocery lineup, right? And you're looking at all those magazines there. Don't you notice that almost every single magazine uh, cover has some kind of food related article, right? It's like we're constantly being bombarded with eat this, don't eat that, you know, follow this diet, you know, it's all about clean eating or no, you need to be paleo or no, you need to be keto or no, you need to be, uh, fasting, no, now you need to think about, um, you know, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, everything-free, right? It's like, how in the heck are we supposed to feed ourselves, right? Especially, you know, if you've gone through a health challenge, you know how this is even worse because you're trying to heal yourself, you're trying to find the best way for you to get back to that state of being, you know, where you're feeling healthy and vibrant and have all the energy that you desire. Because let's face it, you guys, doctors don't know everything. And so a lot of times we will kind of go our own, our own route and do our own research to try to figure out what is best for us, but it's overwhelming, it's confusing, right? Like I said, there's all these things coming at us. And some of you know that I was recently diagnosed um, with something called SIBO, S-I-B-O, which stands for Small Intestine Bacteria Overgrowth. So in going through all of that and figuring out my treatment protocol and everything too, and trying to figure out what does my body you know, thrive on, what is the best way to eat for me, uh, it gets very easy when you're challenged with a health thing to fall into this trap of like, you know, the experts say this and this is what I'm supposed to eat and all that. And so today I really wanted to help you guys get out of that cycle of pulling out your hair and wondering what in the hell am I actually supposed to eat? This is a way, there is a way for you to always know exactly what is right for you. So you don't fall into this one size fits all mentality, right? Because today everybody's rushing to, you know, follow this diet and then, you know, months from now it's gonna be something else. And then three weeks from that, it's gonna be something else, right? Hi Susan, thanks for showing up today. Nice to have you here. Let me know who else is watching. Let me know who's on. Let me know where you're from. I love that. All right, so do you guys get what I'm saying? Are you are you noticing this too, that there's this overwhelm of just like too much information and really feeling kind of overwhelmed by that and not knowing what is really the quote unquote right answer. If you felt like that, just give me a yeah or a thumbs up or something so that I know. I'm just gonna go over here because for some reason on my phone, I can't see um, your comments. So hold on a minute, I just wanna make sure I'm not missing. Oh, Amber's here from Calgary too. Hey Amber, isn't it nice we can see the blue sky today? <laughs> We've been living in Smokeville from all the forest fire smoke, which has just been terrible. Um, okay, Eileen's here, Susan's here, awesome. All right, so keep the comments coming, guys. Now I can see them on my other computer. And thank you for the thumbs up. All right, so what I learned going through my sort of stuff is that um, there is a way, like I said, to know what's right for us, and that is to use that wonderful gift we have, our inner GPS. Some of you may have even heard of the term intuitive eating. So it's where we tune more inward and actually figure out what our own bodies require and want. So an exercise that you can do is before you eat something, even during while you're eating something and after you're eating something, have a little dialogue with yourself. Now it might sound weird or corny or whatever, but stick with me here, okay? So it's like body, 
what do you want? Right? Or body, what do you need? And pay attention. Our bodies are the most accurate divination tool that we have. It always knows what it wants. So notice, do you feel suddenly like a constriction in your stomach? Do you feel slightly nauseous? Um, do you almost have like a gag reflex going on as you think about eating certain things or consuming th certain things? Um, or on the opposite end of the spectrum, do you suddenly feel like excited or light or have like tingles or shivers going on that your body's like, yes, 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 I need that. You know, I want that, right? Um, so pay attention to those things. And then, as I said, even check in as you're eating it, you know, how are you doing with this body? You know, is this what you want? Is this what you need? And noticing those body signals. Now it's not just body signals. You might actually get like, you know, in, in your ear, you might hear like a name of some kind of a food or yes, or stop, or, you know, a sense of that. You might see a flash of a picture of something in your mind's eye. You might feel like you need to get up and look in the fridge or the pantry and your eye is directed to something there specific. So go with that. Now the trick here, the hardest part is not to judge what you're getting because that's what we do. We'll immediately go like into our ego mind and tell ourselves, oh, you're just making this up. That's not real. All of that. But I promise you, if you stick with this, you will start to notice that you are very on, on point with what it is that your body is telling you. This is also a really great tool that you can use when you get a food craving, right? Because how many times, you know, it's nine o'clock, you're watching TV, you're kind of like, hmm, I go for some chips right now, right? And so what I have started to do is actually hold the item that I'm craving in my hand and ask myself, body, do you really want this? Now my mouth might be saying, heck yeah, give me that bag of chips, baby, right? But instinctively, my body will start to give me some other signals that maybe that's not the actual thing, you know, maybe that salt that I'm craving can be satiated from another food that's more healthy or that serves me better, right? As opposed to just, you know, kind of getting into habits, right? So much of our eating is habitual. We're eating stuff because we always eat. It's even like coffee in the morning. I'm not slagging, you know, coffee. Um, but a lot of people just kind of drink it because they've always drank it. And I even got into that. And then one day I was drinking and I'm like, why am I drinking this? It doesn't even taste good to me anymore. So why am I consuming this? And it was my body's way of telling me, you don't need this. You, I don't want this anymore. And then I was able to get rid of it really easy. I didn't have the headaches and all these crazy symptoms that people say, oh, if you're going off coffee, it's you know a nasty ride. You're gonna be having all these terrible side effects. I didn't have any of that because my body was just ready to let it go. So that's something else that you can try when you have a food craving, right? Is to tune in and see what it is that if your body really actually wants that, not the brain, but your body. Okay, does anybody have any questions? I'm just gonna go scroll through, see if you guys have any other comments. Let me just do a quick refresh here. Wi-Fi out here can be really wonky and it has been this summer. So let me just do a quick check in and see. I don't know why I'm not able to see all the comments on um, the screen, but anyway, okay. So that uh, doesn't look like there's any other comments. Do you guys have any questions? Is that making sense? Um, it really is a great way of discerning what is right for you instead of buying into the old, you know, your girlfriend telling you, oh, you know, I've been on whatever, you know, keto and it's just working so great for me. That's great. But you have to remember with these things, there's no one size fits all. And this is a big pet peeve of mine is people buying into this one size fits all mentality, you know, and I get it. I get why they do that. It's because they have a big, you know, problem that's, you know, of concern and they want a fix for it, right? And if they see enough people saying how great it is or, you know, even experts, quote unquote experts or whoever, you know, saying how great it is, um, then, you know, it's easy to fall into that trap and be like, oh, well, you know, that person's a doctor. They must know what they're talking about. I'm going to go and eat that way. Mindful eating. Yeah. And it's also kind of com called mindful eating where you're paying more attention to your, your body and what it's telling you when you're doing that. 
Um, oh, that's interesting. So when you were eating, the sugar made your mouth burn. That's interesting, right? So see how I told you, your body gives you signals. We've gotten so far away from paying attention to our body. We're so in our heads all the time that we are not even noticing the signals anymore because they're subtle. They're not always gonna be the whap you up the side of the head kind of thing. You know, sometimes it will be, you know, sometimes we'll have to not listen to the body signals and then you get to a point where you land yourself in the hospital and you're like, oh shit, how'd that happen? <laughs> you know, we don't wanna get to that point, right? So start listening to that still small voice within you, the whispers, right? Like I said, the signals that your body is sending to you and then you don't have to rely on all of that outside stuff. You know, it's still great. You can read it. I'm not saying to not take in outside information because we have to. We're not experts, right? So read that magazine article. But at the end of the day, before you just go full throttle and go to the grocery store and throw everything out that's in your pantry and start following this new way of eating, sit with that first and see if that makes sense, right? Test it out, have something. What do you think, body? How's this working for you, right? And have that dialogue back and forth. Like I said, it might sound funny or corny, but nobody even has to know you're doing it. You don't have to say it out loud. You can say it in your head. You can even use a notepad and have a little dialogue back and forth. Write down your question. You know, body, um, do you like it when I eat blah, 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 whatever it might be, right? And then notice what comes to you and then write it down and then ask another question and then write it down and keep going back and forth with this question and answer thing. Okay, and you'll find you get some really, really cool insights. So are you guys up for this? Um, it sounds, Eileen, like you're already kind of using some of this with your eating, so that's wonderful. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys, whoever else is still on here, if that sounds like something you'd be willing to try out. Amber, um, what do you think about that? Let me know if, uh, if you're down for some of that. And I would love for you to post here you know, give it a try for a couple of days and then come back under this thread and share. Let other people know how it worked for you. I love, thank you for sharing that, Eileen, about this, uh, you know, situation you had with the sugar. And um, this is especially something that you can use when you do want to get off of a substance. You know, you might be having something and you feel like, mm, I don't really think this is good for me, but I'm, you know, I'm not sure how to make a change. And then you do start to notice your body sending you those subtle signals like, you know, every time you have a diet pop, for example, you might be like, mm -hmm. you know, your body's sharing something with you about that, right? So if you've had any experiences like that or like me with the coffee, how it just started to not taste good anymore, you know, I'd love to hear your comments on that too because it's going to help other people who are kind of ready to release some of those foods and beverages, etc. All right, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. And um, like I said, let me know if you're game for this. It doesn't have to be forever. Just give it a shot for a day or two and let me know how that goes. And I would really love to hear your experiences. Our intuition isn't just for things like, should I take this job? Should I move across the country? Should I date this guy? You know, is everything okay with my kid? Like it's not just for those things. You can use it in so many other ways. So that's why I wanted to share this with you today about intuitive eating. I hope it felt helpful. Give me some thumbs up, give me some hearts if, uh, if that was good information. And if you have any ideas on other things that you wanna hear from me about as, with regards to working with your intuition, please share that below as well so I can come up with some great topics. I do wanna share with you, I'm gonna have a special guest uh, on at the beginning of October which is a total different way of thinking about intuition and how to hone it. So you're going to want to stay on board for that. More information will be coming uh, as we get the details sorted out, but um, mark down October 2nd on your calendar because right now that's hopefully, fingers crossed, going to be the day that we have that because uh, I love bringing on guests as well. So you don't always just have to listen to me blab on and on. All right, guys. So thank you again. And uh, if this was helpful, share it out. And we will see you next week for a new episode of Take Away Tip Tuesday. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day.